I uh, have been a member of 38 Degrees for some time, and the NHS uh, campaign is, I found, particularly engaging and one that I wanted to be involved in. And so I organised a group of, a, a meeting of people in my own CCG and the neighbouring one uh, in central London. The reason I was here today in uh, London to see Norman Lamb, uh, the health minister, was to, uh, as, as a 38 degrees member from the West Midlands, uh, I'm actually part of the Dudley Save Our NHS group, uh, which in turn is part of the Save Our NHS West Midlands hub. I'm here today because uh, Norman Lamb, the Minister for Care, agreed to meet with 38 Degrees um, and as a 38 Degrees member I came along to the meeting to talk about um, the level of care received by my son Axel who died aged seven weeks of pneumonia. I'm really happy that so many members of 38 Degrees uh, are backing this campaign, but now is not the time to give up. We need to build the pressure because the fact that Norman Lamb agreed to this meeting means that our opinions matter and there's not a lot of time left. Um, this is going to start being implemented on the 1st of April this year, so we, we need to keep the pressure up. And people are particularly concerned about the um, what seems to be in the regulations that um, our CCGs are going to have to uh, tender for this uh, outsourcing of services. They don't want uh, tendering uh, universally any more than I think most 38 degrees members do. However, we didn't really get any assurance on that from the minister. I mean, he kept saying that it was in the regulations that they uh, we're not going to be forced to tender by monitor, but our worry is that Clause 5 is very clear that uh, tendering is going to be a requirement, and so we're hoping that uh, what will come out of today's meeting is that they will clarify that so that it's beyond doubt for CCGs not to be worried about um, facing legal action from private companies who want to supply services to the NHS. What's next for campaign in the ground in the West Midlands is that I'll be going back and reporting to people in Dudley, in Solihull, in Birmingham, Redditch and Bromsgrove and um, uh, all the other areas that are pretty much of a mind to um, resist what's happening local level as far as possible, but fortunately are also aware of the strength of working as a region and as communities as well. The Minister offered to, I think he offered to read uh, our, um, and to get advice presumably on our legal opinions, um, and he was very keen that the guidance which will follow the um, the regulations will be he wanted to assure us that that was going to be clearer and that there was going to be consultation on it. So if there's going to be consultation we need to get in there and uh, put forward our ideas about the government. I think Norman Lamb agreed to meet with us today because I think politicians are people too and he thinks that 38 degrees members think that he is someone who wants to prioritise the NHS. He tried to tell us in the meeting that he's not that person, that he wants 38 degrees members basically to like him. I think here's his chance to prove that his intentions are pure. We need to see it in writing. We can't just count on his intentions. It is in some ways a surprise that Norman Lamb agreed to see us. 38 degrees is a relatively young organisation. And it just goes to show how far we as a movement, and I do stress that it's a movement, we're not part of an organisation, it's a, a ground up um, movement of opinion and people taking action, which has given us enough weight to claim a meeting which overran by some way with the Minister, uh, his legal advisers and civil servants, and we were listened to. Um, the outcome isn't what we would have wanted, but beyond what we could have achieved, but we're there and there's a good opportunity for us all to press this advantage here. People are listening, 
and that's people like you that listen, and you can actually make people listen to you too.